All right, I'm going to give you a tour of our Neuromaker CNC machine. It is a one foot by three foot CNC, uh, kind of a, a do-it-yourself job, but it's pretty well put together, very sturdy at least. Um, all right, so this is the machine itself. It's on belts, um, stepper motors here and around underneath here. Um, when it's turned off, you can move it by hand pretty freely, get it out of the way with whatever you need to. Um, if you want to move this up and down, I've been meaning to make a knob for this, but you can reach inside here and spin this, let's see, counterclockwise for up, so you can move it up out of the way. But you can also do that, you know, through the software when you need to. So that's the machine. Under here we have storage, um, search protector for plugging stuff into like the vacuum, and in here is the PC. You can turn that on. And the, the exhaust fan for the stepper controller is, is wired to the PC. So as soon as you turn the PC on, this thing is going to ramp up. Pull this open just to show it off. So here we've got stepper controllers wired in through a parallel port on the back of the PC. This is all wired directly to the stepper motors as well as to our emergency stops. So, when these are disengaged, both of them, you'll hear a bump, and that means that the stepper motors have power, and that makes them really tough to push around by hand, which may be impossible. They got quite a bit of power behind them. Um, so, well, that really means that you should keep your hands out of the way because it could move because they have power. Um, and anytime you want to put your hands in here for maneuvering objects and such, pushing down on the e-stop disengages the power, theoretically, <laughs> so you can move it by hand. All right, so that was enough time for it to boot up. Um, it goes straight to the desktop. I've got a bunch of junk here, but the important part is this icon right here, launch Kufab Mill is the name of, uh, we gave our CNC instance. So this opens up the Linux CNC viewer. Now, one cool thing I want to point out is that it knows when we have the e-stops engaged. So when I twist the e-stop to engage the motors, it knows that I've done that and lets me click the first button I need to click, which is toggle machine power. And now I have control over the machine. I can move it left and right, uh, X, Y, and Z axis. So it's left and right, or in positive and negative on each axis. So I select an axis and I can go up and down. Um, down here, I have jog speed. If I turn that all the way up, it can move kind of quick. So along the X and Y, and kind of move. Now it does have end stops, but that doesn't mean you should go running into, run, run into it on purpose. Um, quick tour of the end stops. It has, oh shoot. Let's see if I can reach back here anyway. End stops on each end here, and end stops on each side here. And for the ZX, we have kind of a neat uh, invention here by uh, one of our contributors. It's an optical switch, so with just one switch, um, as long as it sees nothing, you know, as long as the light can see itself, um, it says everything's good. As soon as it moves too high or too low, and this optical sensor is blocked by this black plastic, then it knows it's gone too far and uh, turns the motors off, disengages everything. So that's your Z-axis end stop. Okay, moving back around. Um, oh, since I clicked it, it's clicked everything off, so I would toggle the machine power again. Um, so that's a quick tour of a few of what we've got going on here. Uh, next video will be how to load up your file.